Disagree with you there, but Wesker's not all that great. I mean, he has his weaknesses. Sir, so you, Mr. Locker, know it all. Well, you need to be more patient. Like, Duke has more moves than just the finger lasers. Nonsense! If Doom could destroy Wesker in real life, he should easily ravage him in a fighting game. Now that you mention it, do you remember when X-23 was around not too long ago? Oh, Doom would prefer you not speak of that wedge in his presence. Doom's wounds still cut deep. I mean, how could X-23 have been on Wesker's trail for so long after we took him out? Oh, we took him out? Really? Well, did you see the body after that big explosion? Are you ready? My god! Max! Doom just realized something! What? What is it? We are all out of yogurt! another one of your Latvarian call girls. What? I haven't brought Tanya over in weeks! Dude, I swear to God. God? Present? Unaccounted for? Oh, sir. I don't think so. Have a taste of the finger Pathetic! <laughs> That's for putting me in a human-sized blender, you dick. Doom! <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. Max, I will end you. Besides, this isn't about me. It's about her. No, you disfigured jackass! Jill! Jill? Jill? Jill who? Let phase one of the program begin immediately. Everyone, I'd like you to meet Jill Valentine, one of the most technical characters in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, but an absolute blast with some practice. Learning how to move around with Jill is one of the most important factors in winning a battle. Her mobility options are high, but they can be pretty limited at times. This is simply because Jill does not do well in the air and is limited to ground movement. Her only option in the air is the knee press, and while it does have its uses, it isn't entirely useful for getting around, which means that Jill is forced to stay on the ground. She has a pretty solid wave dash, and her crouching medium slides under quite a few attacks, which is most likely what you'll be doing to make your way across the screen to avoid getting chipped out by projectiles. Luckily though, you don't really have to slide under too much because you can use Raven Spike or Arrow Kick to punish the recovery of most beams. The other way to move around is with her Feral Stance. The Feral Stance allows for Jill to command dash in stance. It's the other way of moving around because the dashes have a decent amount of invulnerability and can get her through some projectiles. Some characters like Taskmaster are rather vulnerable to Jill's Feral Dash, 
because she flies through his arrows with ease and can punish him from near full screen rather easily. However, beams in general are a bit of a problem because you can't really react to them and need to blindly feral dash at times, hoping that you'll get through. But if you're able to penetrate through those waves of attacks, it's easy to say that your enemy is toast. Her last way of moving around is with the arrow kick. The arrow kick is probably the most common way that Jill is going to get around. It isn't as fast as trying to wave dash or using feral dashes, but instead she basically becomes a projectile that covers near full screen and hard knocks down on hit giving her plenty of time to set up a mix up. While the kick isn't safe normally on block or whiff, Joe can stance cancel it using down down special to remove that recovery and put her in stance. If the opponent blocks the arrow kick you can just dash pretty much anywhere you want, most likely forward, or if you feel they are mashing you can teleport up forward and hit them on the way down. But if it doesn't connect, you can still dash wherever you want, or just sit there and then tease them with Jill's feral cancelling shenanigans. Using these arrow kick cancels with assists is definitely the way to go. Moving around with Jill can be a bit challenging at times, but once you get used to her angle of oh, movements and- Max, stop everything. Excuse me. Yes. Speaking. What? No. No, I said global saturation, not local saturation. What do you mean my deposit doesn't cover global? You... Yes, I can hold. I don't know about you, but I don't remember Jill looking like this in the games. What, didn't you ever play Resident Evil 5? Whatever. In Marvel 2, Jill was a combat master. She could use several weapons and summon a cornucopia of the undead! Didn't you play any fighting games before 2009? I can't believe you uncultured swine! She's just a call girl! What's your excuse, Nickelback? No more talking! <laughs> On the phone. If assists could tell a story, you'd learn that Jill loves to kick. Her three assists are the cartwheel kick, somersault kick, and arrow kick. Jill's cartwheel kick has her entering the frame in front of your character as she does a cartwheel. This assist is great for extending off the ground combos, but being a ground bounce, it's nothing too special when compared to her other two assists. The somersault kick also has Jill entering in a forward direction, but she performs a Guile or She-Hulk type of flash kick. This assist is possibly Jill's most useful, as it is invincible and can be used as a proper anti-air. It also sets up for any air loop combos that you or your point character might have. But if you choose to cross over counter using this assist, Jill becomes invincible, so it's most useful during any active frames while blocking. But with the somersault counter, it makes Jill a huge threat when not on point. This is because she can stance cancel her assist and then dash forward to punish the opponent. The last assist is the arrow kick, and is more useful for aggressive players because the arrow kick functions very similar to a beam. Given that it doesn't go full screen, it still causes a hard knockdown and gives characters like Doom or Wesker a free OTG combo. It also extends combos easily and is her highest damaging assist, maxing out at 100,000 damage. However, one major flaw to the arrow kick assist is that Jill has to enter into that falling state and she is vulnerable during this time, unlike most assists which become invulnerable after they hit. It can also be a problem if she hits the assist and not the point character. But aside from Jill's assists, using assists can also be very important for extending combos and getting damage. Characters like Beautiful Joe, Sentinel, and Chris allow Jill to combo off her Fallen Prey special, which is done with Shoryuken and Light. By being able to combo off Fallen Prey, Jill can combo off her air and ground throw, which is something she can't normally do. Joe and Chris's assists require them to be done a bit earlier before Fallen Prey, and you might find yourself in situations where it's difficult to call them out. Sentinel, however, is done at the same time as the Fallen Prey, making the timing much easier. Running one of these three characters does significantly increase Jill's options, but at the same time can potentially hurt the synergy of your team by providing a worthless assist for your third character. You need to be careful when making these choices. Not making the right decision will- Ugh! This is more boring than a Phoenix Mirror match! And where do you think you're going? Wherever Doom feels like! Doom slaps you around once before! Doom 
Moon's Han Solo, and you're his Wookiee bitch! And don't you forget it! better use of it than me. Thanks, Barry. <laughs> oh, what happened to you, Jill? You used to be so awesome and awful, too. Now you wouldn't even fit in a Latvian brothel. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Excellent, my dear. A flawless victory. <laughs> Don't worry, Max. Doom has got a plan. Jill has a dangerous collection of special moves, specifically because she can actually stance cancel out of most of them, making them safe. Her air special moves are the knee drops. The properties are different depending if they are hit in the air or not. The medium version is perhaps the most effective, because you can clip someone during a super jump height and she'll be able to ground bounce the opponent and follow up with a quick combo. The medium knee drop also has a huge amount of frame advantage on block, making it great for opponents that are entering just after being downed or a snapback. Her flip kick is not very useful outside of combos and is one of those moves that you should completely avoid otherwise. The cartwheel is her ground bounce and it has a massive hitbox in the air. This move also leaves her in feral stance automatically afterwards, What's interesting to know is that if you manually go into the Feral Stance after doing this move, she can actually use the Feral moves much faster, making it better than waiting for it to automatically kick in. This is an important detail to note for later combo potential. Fallen Prey is another special that has three variations. The light version is a low attack and hits off the ground and can't be followed up unless you use a specific assist like we mentioned before. The medium version sends them flying over Jill and causes a hard knockdown. This move doesn't seem to serve too many purposes outside of looking nice in combos, but you can take advantage of the hard knockdown and go for some fun mix-ups. The heavy version is a command grab that's similar to Yun and Yang in Street Fighter and lets her follow up with whatever bread and butter combo of her choice after. It's a lot slower than most command grabs, which is something to remember, but the fact that she has this just gives Jill another option when getting in close. The feral stance also leads to several unique specials while in stance. Pressing light gives a low attack that's incredibly fast, but if you want to combo after, you need to stance cancel it into either a somersault or you can do more feral low hits up to five times. Pressing medium gives you a lunge kick which puts the opponent into a ton of block stun and is a quick way to go for a 50-50 mix-up since a blocked one means a command grab or they'll be hit low. It also causes a wall bounce on hit, but requires a stance cancel and then you would dash forward in order to combo afterwards. Pressing heavy enables the somersault and is perhaps the move that makes Jill the most scary. Somersault has invulnerability frames and if it's missed, you can super cancel it. Somersault is basically a safe one button dragon punch and is perhaps one of her best moves. Some of these supers can be pretty helpful when you need space. If you have to make that room to start an offensive, you can... You don't say much, do you? Chris, I have to save Chris. No, no, Max. I'm not permitting your existence so that you can distract my weapon with personal conversation. Besides, I think you're missing some information that she so desperately needs. You really should cover all of those small bits. <laughs> That's what she said! I suppose gypsies and teenage X-Men don't mind your small bits, Victor. You take that back! Are all that Varian women as hairy as your mother? Because I don't think I would want to put up with that again. You son of a bitch! Mock my country! You shape at the expense of its women! And you brainwash the hottest chick in Marvel too! There's 
only one way to settle this. Broom's gonna have to commit some verbal murder! Verbal murder? Oh, wait. Oh, God. Oh, God, no! Yo, I'm a murder doom! Break your mask off, crack open your glass jaw. You're using a hacksaw on my edge when I blast off. Lift you off of the ground, you bounce. Look at you now. Rowing a cruise missile at your chest. Look at you. Now. Break my foot off in your ass. You can't even dash, you're slower than Ryu in the past. I'ma rip you in half. X Factor, I pick it up. And I'd wear that mask too if I was ugly as f. What? I'm sorry, dude, but this ain't Marvel 2, yo. You're lucky you went to Evo and got top 8. Oh, wait. No! Get body to death. I body your next. I killed Mega Man because he didn't cut me a check. I got so much in my revenue stream. I body a beam, can't wreck out without even using a team. My divinity's individually interjected with synergy. There's a reason why, unless you're clockwork, people call you free. Doom on the country, bitch! Nixon is slave! Give you a grave! I'm a umbrella look at welfare, minimum wage! Doom is getting enraged! I come hard! Kill my ex-girlfriend and turn her in with suit of arm! I'ma bury you with so many area variable! I tell you the pieces are sitting in my chair cause you perishable! I'll beat you to death with your legs, leave you in stitches! Marvel 2 is the shit, already fighting for bitches! Laugh at you with my clothes, sit on my throne, look at your clothes! The Matrix went out of style 11 years ago! Come on, Neo, Wesker, or Scorpio! You're the shit amongst 30 year old wannabe Asian Smith! We live in the basement! With the moms and babies and kids This is the head while they were busy watching Reloaded again Do you have any friends? Homies don't have any plans When I murder you with my bare hands Yo, I'ma kill you in 10 seconds With any full length weapon Prison you in the castle While I'm signing your death sentence You're like a human-sized cell phone Can I send you a text message? So salt, either getting nerfed In ultimate next session Look at you, Doom You probably even soiled your room Your face looks like a cube So what the hell do you do? Your comics are shit Both your movies were terrible And none of your powers In Marvel 3 are even comparable You're just basic, face it I'm a case of eight Cause I'm the staple of DG, you get exposed and raped with I'm godlike in ability So much like you ain't killing me Everybody is feeling me You use Phoenix and have a shitty haircut Who won? You decide <laughs> Nixon is slave, give you a grave I make umbrella look like welfare, minimum wage Doom is getting enraged, I come hard Kill my ex-girlfriend and turn her in with suit of arm I'ma bury you with so many area variable I tell you the pieces are sitting in my chair Cause you perishable, I'll beat you to death with your legs Leave you in stitches, Marvel 2 is this shit Already fighting for bitches Laugh at you with my clothes, sit on my throne Look at your clothes, the Matrix went out of style 11 years ago Come on, Neo, Wesker, or Scorpio You're the shit amongst